everyone, and welcome back to the channel for another video. This is North Star Reactions and Reviews, and my name is Matthew. In today's video, we are moving right along through our Criminal Minds series with Season 1, Episode 10. Uh, we have one more episode before we reach the halfway point for Season 1, and I am excited to see where it goes. Um, Real quick though, I just want to let everybody know on the channel that as of January 31st, which is Tuesday of next week, I will be going on vacation. Um, it's my plan to record as many episodes of Criminal Minds and our new reaction series, 911, um, as soon as possible and then I can have them up on the channel for you guys um, at a steady pace while I'm out on vacation. Um, I have started 911. I have uh, watched the first two episodes so far. Uh, edits are in progress on um, those first two episodes for our new reaction series and I hope to have them out to you sometime next week. Uh, I will be doing a lot of traveling on Tuesday, so I probably won't start having them out until Wednesday, probably Thursday at the latest, assuming I don't have any difficulties in uploading. Um, but yes, I am going to try to record as many episodes of Criminal Minds and our new reaction series, 911, um, and we will see where we go from there. But for now, let's go ahead and jump right into Season 1, Episode 10 of Criminal Minds. I hope you all enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> Running through the woods, that is something I could never do or would never do. Oh, how sweet. You had a shape cheerleader. Oh, yeah. I see you do three backflips and I did the splits. Oh, boy. Somebody's there. She hears something. Ooh, a scream. Yeah, I'd run too. Is it, is he already gone? Oh, great. No! Sheriff Bridget, there's something here. What is it? Didn't want to say this, sir. Yikes. Wait, hold on. We're gonna need a lot more than the crime scene, folks. They're waking up. Ooh, late night? Very. Monday. <laughs> Not that kind of late night. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what does keep young guys watching Star Trek and laughing at the physics mistakes? Actually, there aren't that many scientific errors in Star Trek, especially considering how long ago it was made. There are <laughs> certain improbabilities, but... Yeah. Uh, do you ever have dreams? I'm sorry? I guess, uh, nightmares would be a more accurate description. Given the job that they do, I'm sure they do There's have nightmares. I person you to talk to about this. Why not? It's just, uh... Is that enough with you two? No. Victim 
was just killed this morning. How do we know this connection? Found about 75 feet apart with nearly identical head wounds. Where's the rest of the case file? If there isn't one, the sheriff's around the scene waiting for us. They're looking. Oh, great. They never cease to amaze me in how they open so these episodes. Them off, sir. Unfortunately, a superabundance of dreams is paid for by a growing potential for nightmares. Satanic ritual killings and abuse. The satanic panic. It was called. It began after the publication of a book about repressed memories being recovered through hypnotherapy. Memories of growing up true and began searching for similar signs in their own patients. After one year, thousands of people reported the exact same repressed memories. The Bureau conducted an investigation and concluded that most seen as juveniles damaging property, desecrating churches, cemeteries. To my knowledge, there's never been a proven case of a satanic ritual killing in the United States. Interesting. Maybe there is now. Uh, yeah, we spoke on the phone. I'm Agent Giroux. This is Agent Gideon and Dr. Ray with the FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit. Yeah, no, we're right. So is this unusual enough? It certainly is interesting. You have right? The <laughs> Tanner stuff? Not really. Who found the body? Hiker found the first one of the two. As opposed to oval. Melted wax? Candle wax? Candles are used in rituals. So they used on birthday cakes. Actually, they were originally used... What kind of doctor are you? <laughs> He's kind of a local hero, a high school football star. So a pretty strong kid, huh? Here, is he on sub lane and wait for this kid specifically? On sub? Unknown subject killer. I think it is a cult. You think they cared who the victim was? Maybe. Sure. Could be a cult. The meds and crime scenes are textbook disorganized murder. This looks like a heavily traveled area. A lot of the locals walk these paths. Some tourists too. They drag him to the other scene. Why didn't they? That is a good question. Does no love thee mean I don't think to you? Mm -mm. I don't know of any significance in Satanism. Groups, people you see, you don't know much about. People who say to themselves mostly. It's a very religious area. Church on Sundays, fellowship on Wednesday, Bible classes. You know, people out here just want a quiet place to raise their kids. What I know is none of them are capable of doing this. Mm, that you know of. Have you ever heard the expression LOD or the acronym LOD? Not me. So, the girl was not killed in the beginning, but taken. We're looking for someone who can overpower a victim. Not the girl from a traveled path without being seen. It certainly fits with the cult theory. Anymore. We only went a quarter of a mile and we almost got lost. The unsub has to be from this area. You don't just stumble into a place like this. Judge, where'd the sheriff go? He's setting up a search party. I think we're looking for a monster. If we tell him we're looking for volunteers so we can profile who shows up, he might call the whole thing off. Hmm, smart. Stay with me here for a little We've got a missing girl, 100 square miles of woods, not enough men, in a couple of hours it's going to be dark. Have you considered using the people that live in the area? I'm not going to have civilians messing up the crime scene. We can... Look, I grew up in a small town. You have the state police coming in? Yeah. Your locals can do a better job of finding this girl than any statey. Hey! Go downtown. There's nothing until I get back, all right? Hey! With you guys, I need to call Quantico and have him research that whole LOD thing. What's happening, Doctor? Reverend Paul Burke, this is. Yeah, actually, yes. We're putting together a search party. Could you call the congregation? Of course. Of course, I'll go uh, make some calls. Thanks, Reverend. Hmm. Right. Our office. Something. Strikes me as odd with that reverend we just met. Let's speak. Zarathustra is rather antagonistic of the uh, Judeo Christian worldview for this town, isn't it? I don't think too many people here would have bothered to read it. If they had, they wouldn't understand it. Might as well be agent. I, I'm with the FBI, the Behavioral Analysis Unit, profiling. 
<laughs> this is mad cool. I got like a hundred questions. I got. <laughs> Wait, well, why? We're gonna get our search party. I need you to get the rest of the team together. Meet us out of the trail about a half mile south of the point. Yeah. Okay. Signed in. Make your way back to the police cars. That's where you'll be assigned your group. Thank you. I grew up in Brooklyn. We couldn't get this many people out for anything less than free money. Go ahead. Find anything, do not touch it. Just let your grid leader know. Now, are there any questions? All right. Everyone get in your group. Hopefully, this search yields some evidence that they can use or even point them to a suspect. Okay, the sign of truth type of gun stuff can't resist injecting himself into a show like this. He's here with us. He's Here we go, we got Garcia doing what she does best. One guy owns a bunch of shoe stores up and down the eastern seaboard. Here's the guest of the uh, state of Ohio for Bedlin. Aha, I knew something fishy was going on with that reverend. I'm seeing a lot of tax sheltering and various hanky. Yeah, I, I got a guy with a ton of debt, spotted work history, his house is in foreclosure, and... He's got a record to assault with a deadly weapon three years ago. But does it say what the weapon was? B5. Okay, that puts him with L. Mm. Turn around, L. That guy's creepy. Good for you. My name's Henry. <laughs> Well then, good for you, Henry. L doesn't seem all that interested in him. Like the letter? <laughs> You're with the FBI, right? That must be exciting. It has its moments. It's dangerous too, right? I mean, very. Whoever killers and things. Ooh, they found something, or rather, she found something. Satan commands the Virgin be sacrificed at the next full moon. God. I've said it before, but I really enjoy the profile that part. Mean that is safe. His followers killed a U.S. congressman and three people before committing mass suicide, leaving over 900 people dead. And perhaps the most widely known of the killer cults, the Manson family. Invariably, they're headed by charismatic megalomaniacs. If you're looking for that leader, he's who will stand out. He'll be memorable to somebody. People who are in his group will see him as... Heavy metal music is often associated with Satanism, and these kids and their leader may reflect that in their look. Most likely, there will be sex, drugs, and alcohol. Now, the leader will be older. People is doing this? We're sure of it. I would know if someone was capable of that. I know somebody like that. Oh, that seems awfully convenient. He's in his 20s, but he still hangs out with high school kids. He's got a group of them. We follow him everywhere. They all get high and listen to heavy metal. I've been there where they hang out drinking beers. He talks about Satan all the time. Says he's the one true God. Sorry, Dad. Being in the FBI does have its perks. They don't really have jurisdictional issues. Not as many as local officers do. How nice. Let's see how this raid plays out. And we've been seeing a lot of this young lady, so maybe she knows something. Tell me why I'm here. We're we just gonna play 
staring game since trouble. We didn't know. Al is not taking any crap from anybody. <laughs> I think someone threatening to kill this girl is funny. You're one of the FBI agents, aren't you? You don't think he punishes us? After Hurricane Katrina, I read some essays by religious scholars. One writer said, priest from New Orleans, he thought the hurricane was proof of God's love. Because the levees didn't break until after the storm was over. Interesting. If they broke and something to be punished for. She did something. Cherish. She's missing. It takes about a quarter sugar. Two teaspoons. You got it. Morgan, you knew I didn't want you to tell Hodge about my nightmares. Ah, oh, damn. something they need to know about. Well, oh, yeah? How do you know that? I just don't. Poor you Reed. Right, man. I, I confided in you. This is, you know, this is exactly what I get when I trust someone. It gets thrown back in my face. <sighs> we were working a strangler case in Montana. Four victims. Me, I was still pretty young. More victims. Mm -hmm. She was found the next day. So I went down the scene to do my thing. And as I was looking over the body, that's when I saw her. Like she knew. I asked for a victim. Well, here she was. That's when they started for me. You do? Gideon. He knew. I didn't tell him. I was like you. I didn't want anybody to know. He just... He knew. And he sat me down, and when they come back, I know how to handle them better. What well, say? that's a plus. Before I calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? Cherish is missing. Did you check all over? We searched the whole house. What about the outbuilding? Outbuilding? Did you check the other area? Back in the... That kid showing up right there and giving him that piece of information seems a bit... coincidental. He fell off the trail, cracked his head open. Who did? We did. Everybody. The whole group. What is this? Lord of Destruction. I've never seen this. From where I stand, Mike, it looks like you signed it. It is a I pretty damning piece of evidence. It's something we had that our parents didn't know about. It was ours. And we... It's okay. This is a secret place. You said you read the profile books. Oh, dang. Well, they found the missing girl. Unfortunately, they were too late. upside down get drunk and listen to metal that's it hey we don't kill people this is your chance to make to talk to you all of you great i want you to go to the house and see the deputy in the area who didn't know were Mike Zizzo and the LOD. It's ridiculous. It's possible. It's unbelievable. She told me it was... They weren't there a few months ago. Which means Ooh. someone wanted us to believe there were Satanists here. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
So then you know what profilers do. The unsub likes to inject himself into the investigation. That's what this type of killer does. So, a group of French kids nobody in the town would like. But the sheriff's like. son. My advice would be to get in front of this before your son hurts himself or anybody else. Not there right now. The is sheriff's that, son no, is the unsub. No. Someone did. There's a revolver missing. Oh, that's not good. The guy we're looking for in this crime would be classified as a disorganized killer. Sounds like Zizzo, doesn't it? Yeah, sure it does. But you know, then again, sometimes a disorganized because of that, we also got to look for someone who might try to put himself right in the middle of an investigation so that he can influence things. I mean, he wants to control us, right? Morgan knows. And that would extend the discovery. Wanting the body found when and... But I knew about the building. I also knew about Zizzo. And the same as I was only trying to help. Well, you did that. You couldn't have found this place without you. Hey, Morgan. <laughs> he runs an everyday not her. Boy, listen to me. We can fix this. Ooh. But you gotta let Reed go. I never meant to hurt her, but make no mistake. I will shoot your boy right now. No, you won't. Wait. Put the gun down. You're in control, Corey. Let him go. For the evil man. An issue is speaking metaphorically about evolving as a species. Be careful, Reed. No, yeah, that was never my intent. Come on. Mm. You alright? What happened? Him bringing us down here was way too much of a coincidence. No, I got that. Did you have to tackle us both? <laughs> You're welcome, Reed. Playwright Eugenia Anesco said, Ideologies separate us. Dreams and anguish bring us together. Deborah Louise Addison, her husband Tim, kids are Amber and Keith, eight and six. 1985, Deborah Louise was walking home from school. She writes a letter to the BAU every year. She updates us on her life. It's nice, but see the depths of depravity and the dream of monsters. And yeah. In my dream, there's a baby in the middle of a circle. And I look at Deborah. Helps me. Helps me go to sleep thinking of the victims we save. Don't always beat the monsters to the babies. <laughs> So that was episode 10 of Criminal Minds. Um, it was very good. I enjoyed that one. Um, the fact that they uh, focused, um, they, they seem to focus more on Reed and how he was feeling in terms of having these nightmares. Uh, given the job that they do, um, it's not surprising that each and every one of them will have nightmares um, you know, it's a rough job and they see a lot of, they see a lot. They, they, they deal with a lot, um, you know, criminals, psychos, killers, kidnappers, they deal with a ton and, you know, they're bound to have nightmares. Um, it's understandable that Reed wouldn't want anybody to know about it because he seems to be a very private person. He doesn't seem to be open about how he feels um, with the rest of the team and everything like that in terms of his personal stuff, um, which is understandable. I can understand wanting to keep some things private. When you work with a group of people on a day-to-day -day basis, they tend to, you know, eventually know everything about you and um, it's nice to have just a little part of yourself kind of be hidden um, and and that's good I can understand that uh, the other part that stood out for me was the sheriff's son being the unsub this time around that I did not expect I knew it was 
I knew there was something off about him. And um, again, it was just convenient the way that he had a lot of the answers that they were looking for. But I really didn't expect him to be the unsub, the actual unsub. Um, just like in um, the previous uh, episode that we did, the L uh, LDSK episode uh, from two episodes ago, uh, that one also, you know, threw me some curveballs. And this one did the exact same thing, but uh, it's okay. I like being um, engaged and, and guessing from one person to the next who the actual unsub is. It's what keeps us as viewers engaged with the episode and keeps us entertained and things like that. Going from suspect to suspect and trying to guess, is this the actual person that committed these crimes or was it this person? When you have someone over here doing something that makes you think that this person over here did it. It, it, it keeps you on your toes, and, and that's what I like about this show. Uh, they don't do it often where they have multiple suspects. Sometimes it is uh, a clear-cut suspect, this is who did it, this is why, and sometimes it's the opposite where you don't know who did it, you don't know why they did it, they don't have any motive, and, and those are the really tough ones um, because it's hard to figure out why somebody did what they did when there's no motive behind what they did. Um, and, and even those ones are very engaging and, and fun to watch. I like uh, unraveling the mystery, as it were. Um, I've said it many times before, but the profile part of the cases is my favorite part. Um, because you get to learn more about the suspect or the unknown subject and you get to delve deeper into the mind of this individual and get a glimpse at why they do what they do and, and things like that. You don't get the whole thing, you get just a small part, but it's enough to keep you interested until the very end. Um, those are just my thoughts and um, I'd love to know your thoughts on episode 10 of Criminal Minds. Uh, the next episode will put us at the halfway point of season one, and I'm excited to get into that. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and share this video any way you can. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, it'll help grow the community and keep the channel going. Any and all actions taken on this video and other videos on the channel uh, does improve the channel's algorithm as a whole, and that'll help get us get ourselves out there even more, and that's what we want. I hope you all enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below, and I will see you soon for the next video. Uh, remember that I will be on vacation starting January 31st. That'll be this coming Tuesday. Um, talk to me in the comments, guys. See you soon.